You know, at first I, I just couldn't believe it, that it was successful. We never really felt like we were successful, though. That was the pro The problem was, you know, Fox was fledgling and, um, you know, fighting for ratings. And, uh, you know, in, in a lot of parts of the country, they didn't get the show. So that for my hometown, for example, didn't get the show. So when I would go home to visit, you know, they would say, so how are you doing? You know, what are you doing? They, they'd see the occasional beer commercial or something. and. Um, so, I mean, they thought I was successful because of those things. Um, so it was a slow process. Um, but the people that watched it were, you know, very big fans of it. I mean, the ones who actually liked it um, were very, very enthusiastic about it. And, uh, and that was great for a while. <laughs> And then, like everything, you know, it becomes a little bit of a... For a while, I had a little bit of a problem with it. You know, like I used to think, because it was all, Hey, Al! You know, and I'd think, I'm never going to work again. This is it. And so, for a brief period of time, I can remember trying to... Everybody that would say that to me, I would say, You know, uh, my name's not actually Al. It's... I would then hear myself saying this, and then you'd see, you know, they'd be disappointed in that sort of, which is, which I can understand, you know. And I, and I thought, stop doing that. You know, you're lucky to be working in this job, and you are this guy. You look like him, and that's it. And so then I, then I sort of, once I got over that and started to embrace the whole idea of that and not take it seriously, um, I was much, much better off. It's amazing to do Married with Children for 11 seasons and then get another show that's just as popular uh, to, to, for Modern Family to go 11 seasons. Yeah, I mean, lucky. It's incredible. And it just, you just wrapped a couple of weeks ago. Right, and yeah. We've got four was, shows that haven't aired yet. Right. The finale is a two-parter, and then that's it. And, and who was the most emotional on the, the last day? Well, <laughs> I'd have to say Julie, Julie Bowen. Yeah. And I thought she was going to have to be sedated and... Yeah. carried out but everybody was having their moments you know and uh you know i'm like going let's get it done you know <laughs> i'm more or less youngstown ohio steel mill let's get it done and then i and they said but you don't cry you, you know you're not emotional i said four months from now i'll be getting a massage i'll burst into tears no yeah. one will know why right exactly <laughs> Um, what, what was the difference between the uh, the end of this show or Married with Children? Well, you see, when Married with Children was canceled, it was canceled in between seasons. So we were all off doing our own thing. You know, in fact, I heard, I found out, I was back in my hometown in Youngstown, Ohio, coming out of a bed and breakfast, beautiful spring day, car pulls in, just married, you know, with the thing just married and the cans hanging off the back. Bride get, gets out in the bridal dress, the guys in the tux, and they go, my God, married with children. And I said, oh, hi, you just got married, you know, wonderful. And they said, oh, we love your show. We're so sorry about it, though. <laughs> they I told said, well, uh, what, what, what do you mean you're sorry about it? Well, he doesn't know. It's all over the radio. It was canceled. We're sorry. I said, I'd rather hear it from you. That's hilarious. <laughs> So I took him in, got him a bottle of champagne, and that was how, that's how that went down. Wow. The yeah. network didn't call and no, tell you? No, they never called me. And when they called me, it was like, I swear to God, it was like six weeks later, someone dropped the ball, Ed, on this. <laughs> I said, I said, I have a question for you guys. <laughs> 11 years, we kept you in the black. No gifts for the cast? You know, I'm kind of speaking for the cast. Right. Ed, do you actually think we'd let you go? without gifts. I said, a helpful hint, I've got steak knives. Uh, <laughs> I know Golden Girls got Mercedes Benzes or something, you know, I never got a gift. I honestly, Ellen, I, I, I've never made a plan in my life. I just, you know, I'll just go along and see what happens. You know? All right. I'm happy and I'm happy yeah. that, that we got the job done and uh, well. it was a wonderful job. What was the big break for you? Was it married with children, essentially? or Well, I went to New York uh -huh. uh, from Youngstown and I was doing a lot of theater. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did Broadway, Off-Broadway, regional theaters, and so forth. And I was doing a play at Hartford Stage called Mice and Men. 
which is not a comedy, by the way. <laughs> and I was, I was playing Lenny. Okay. Which is the retarded fella, I guess that's the best way to put it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a casting director from LA was visiting his aunt, to, went to the show. Mm -hmm. And then liked the play, liked me, and then a year later they're casting uh, Married with Children and they can't get the Bundy guy and, he, and this guy's name was Hirschfeld, and he said, uh, you know, this, you, you know, guys, you're gonna think I'm nuts, but I saw an actor a year ago in a drama that I think he could do this, and they, they almost fired him. Uh -huh. And I happened to be out there at the time for a, a failed pilot, mm -hmm. and they called me in. I was playing handball at the Hollywood Y, <laughs> and I showed up with my glove with the bag, you know, my, my bag with the gloves hanging all of it, and they, it was Levitt and Moye. What mm -hmm. the hell is that? Mm -hmm. And so we, we uh, started talking in the office, and then they had me audition. They said, would you mind reading? And I said, no, that's what I do all the time. And I saw the guy as, as my uncle, one of my uncles. Al Bundy, you're saying? Yeah, he was like, and the guy was a judge, but he reminded me of this guy. <laughs> and uh, they, but, but what I mean is, I guess, apparently most of the guys that read for it were doing it like Jackie Gleason in okay. The Honeymooners, you know, yelling and mad. Mm -hmm. Well, my uncle was like resigned. You know, life was gonna be bad. Resigned, I love it. So, you know, we'd be like, life he'd get home from work bad. and he'd come in the house and my aunt, his wife would say, Joe, I ran over the dog in the driveway today, he's dead. And Joe would say, what's for dinner? <laughs> so it was sort of like that, right? <laughs> That's how I read it and they had not heard that tact. You know, Interpretation. That, no, they had not heard that. And they went, well, that's kind of funny. And anyway, long story short, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. I get and then you got, then you got the gig. I got so in it. a way, Al Bundy is uh, born out of Lenny of Mice and Men. Yes. In a way. And the or other the thing too, when 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 uh, the guy running, sort of running things for Fox at that time, Barry Diller. Yes, I've heard of him. Apparently, and I think the story is true. When they when they audition Katie and I together, then they have a meeting. You know, they do the meetings. Sure. And Diller said, "You want my opinion?" You got the gal. You got the gal. Mm -hmm. You can do a hell of a lot better for the guy. <laughs> and then Levitt Moy said, "We kind of like him, you know, Barry. You know, this guy right. was powerful. Mm -hmm. We kind of like him. Your funeral. Your funeral. That was. That's how I got into it. Hey. And then much later, I did the movie called Dutch, and he was involved in that. And he said, "You know, I made a mistake about you. You were cast and married with children. What happened then was that um, uh, one of the guys that came to the play." because they, you know, it, got, it had a great word of mouth. It was a phenomenal play. This guy was a casting director and he was visiting his grandmother in Hartford. He was casting Married with Children and um, they couldn't find the Al Bundy character. And um, how he would put the two together, you know, I don't know. He said later, his name was Mark Hirschfeld, sweet guy. He went to Levitt and Moye who created the show and they had seen everybody John Goodman um, I mean wonderful actors um, S Sam Kinison you know but they just couldn't find the match with a girl with the, you know they had Roseanne Barr who basically said this ain't mine this is the guy so he had seen Mice and Men and he said look there's this actor in New York you know he's not a, he's not a comedic actor he's a serious actor he said, oh great but they were desperate. So I remember I was in LA, I was out there for something else that never went. And I was there for like three or four days. And I was playing handball at the Hollywood Y. I used to play handball. And I get a call from my agent saying, look, there's this horrible show on this new network, Fox. I said, Fox, they make movies, 20th Century Fox. No, they're gonna be in the television business, but they'd like to see you on this horrible project called Married with Children.